Welcome to Grace Downs. Tim, Angelus. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Down. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's start the timer. But ding. TNT. Yo. I saw online that there's a new trend going around on TikTok. You know, they got a lot of a lot of real awesome trends, some controversial trends, such as the Tide Pod challenge back in the day or whatever <laughs> the hell it was. This one is videos about perennium sunning. Have you have you heard this? Okay, so yes, I'm very familiar with per perennial sunning. Um, that is when one would uh, tan their perineum. Yeah, basically, um, you like either lay in like with on your back with your legs spread, or you get in, like a downward dog kind of yeah, modified, and, and let the spread, sun yeah. just just get your taint. I mean, that area of your body does not get a lot of sun, so yeah, it says that uh, it's controversial wellness practice because. It, it it can boost your vitamin D because you never get sun oh in that area, God. and it's gonna it's gonna uh, increase a person's vibrations. Whoa! And, yeah, 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 it increases dude. vibes. Yeah, dude. It's it's <laughs> uh, referred to others as sunning your holes. <laughs> it literally increases vibes. <laughs> <laughs> you get that boost of the sun, dude. Get more get, vibes. Get your junk to the air. And scientists are saying there's no proof to this, and you might hurt your parts if you expose them to the sun too long. I mean, yeah. So this was a thing, um, like maybe like about a year ago. There was a uh, an actor who come out. I think he just had a movie. I can't remember who it was. Part of me wants to say it was the Deadpool guy. Part of me wants to say it was somebody else. But he said something about sunning his perineum and he had put something on, on, on uh, Twitter about it and it started a conversation of like is this something that normal people do <laughs> it, t it turns out that not a lot of people do this it sounds wild dude it does sound wild but it also sounds like something where you like uh, I mean, I bet what you could people it hurt? in Austin do it. What could it hurt? You know, I just walk out to the pool at the Crazy Town compound. There's just a guy like downward dog, just letting the sun just roast his chestnuts, <laughs> dude. Look, look, you have to, you have to admit, is that men and women, when you go down to that area, you can tell what parts of their body see sun and what part doesn't. Well, yeah, no one's putting their butt crack up to the sun, dude. No one. You don't tan. No. You don't go tanning. Nope. So I don't know how common it is for a person who does tan regularly, which is a large pop. Oh, yeah, a lot of people do, right? I don't know if they do this. Like, do you sit on a tanning bed and spread, and just your, butt cheeks, spread your butt cheeks so you can get even an even tan? Here's what I feel. It's like it's like for someone like me. Like, I don't go out in the sun a lot. I have fa fairly fair skin. Yeah. Um, If the first time I go out in the sun for the year... I got to be cognizant because I'll burn real fast. So just mm -hmm. I can just imagine how quickly an area that has never seen sunlight on your body in all the years you're alive, how quick it would just burn. Like it, you would go from like, oh, I'm feeling good to, oh, the part of my body where skin rubs together Ooh. all day long is Nerve sunburned. endings. Yeah, dude. Like why would you want a sunburn? Why would you want to risk it? Yeah, dude. I'm, I'm good. I mean, but you know, okay, if you're careful though. Because that's all you're asking. You, you got to give it a five minute boost. That's about it, probably. Oh, that I that I agree with. You gotta you gotta wean it. You gotta get it. <laughs> you gotta yeah, you gotta get out there and get your chestnuts ready to roast it. You know, yeah, you can't you, just roast them full bore the first day. Yeah, you gotta groom your butthole to get it into a position Lord. where it, it can. Yeah, it's like if you go to the gym and you've and you haven't been in six months, you go and you like you even if you know how to work out, you go and do like one or two sets at an average weight because you're like. I know if I go full bore, tomorrow I ain't lifting my arms over my head. Same sort of thing. If you want to try to roast your chestnuts, man, you got you got to start with a little little percolation. Very fair. Um I don't know if there's a benefit to having a roasted uh nuts and berries. It seems to me like, you know, not a lot of people are going to see that part of your body. Nope. So, unless you're a creep like, I don't really, honestly, I don't think that tanning is an attractive thing anyway. I don't either. I don't really get it. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm black, so I probably shouldn't get it. <laughs> I mean, that's fair, I guess. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to be like, oh, I like the way you tan your, your vulva. 
Yeah, your parts I, look I real nice I, and tan. I don't know if I'm ever gonna I say don't know, that. Man. I like. I'm okay with like if it's a natural tan. Like, oh, you're you go out on a boat. You you're out playing sports in the sun, and you got a tan from that. Like that happens, right? Like, but like the point of just like I just want to go into a. a freaking foam booth with fluorescent bulbs <laughs> i hate the the light caskets that dude you know, yeah the, the light it. caskets that i don't know man weird. it's their own i guess but like that's, that's stuff, what i was it can't be good year for your skin though that's what it i was getting at too. so obviously you know there's a lot of health benefits or health detriments that come with with tanning right so i imagine that there's got to be some if especially if like say you're a, a fertile guy bombarding your ball sack with uv light probably is lowering your sperm count oh is that the secret is that kind of what they're they're really just trying to make everyone infertile i mean secretly it, it, like think about like biology why are the balls on the outside of the body it's because if they were inside the body it's too warm inside of us so the, the sack is actually designed oh, to keep them cool yeah, keep it not so hot so we're not roasting. Exactly. The, that, uh, that's the only reason they're kept outside the body. It's it's a beautiful design. So if you bombard that area with heat and UV light, that it is not intent. It's underneath you for a reason. I wonder if like you sit on a heating pad all day if it'll do the same thing. <laughs> I mean, possibly, I you guess. Just, just sit down on a high <laughs> heat pad on Are you going to try to make yourself sterile by sitting on a hot rock? What's cheaper, a vasectomy or sitting on a heat <laughs> pad? Just go ton your perineum in the backyard, man. Just, <laughs> just, just jump over, like lay over the hand railing outside on the patio. <laughs> <laughs> just like a beach towel in the sun, just lay over yeah, it. Definitely the one facing the neighbors. Yeah, too. of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you get the good sun. It's going to get blocked if you're by the house. You just lay over it like, well, I guess this is where I'm staying for the rest of the afternoon. <laughs> I mean, look, it, you, you you pay to live here. Damn it. You can sun your perineum if you want to. Yeah, I wonder if I decided to, like, Sunday. <laughs> I wonder if I decided I, to I was, like. Like, I didn't hang my stuff over the fence, but I was on oh the patio. And I was just letting my freedom flag fry, fly if I would get a call. Yeah, I think they call the HOA on you for sure. The HOA? Yeah, yeah dude. The crazy town HOA. They definitely get Yeah, them. dude. I'd get a... Uh, Pretty sure you can't. There's kids in the area, so you oh, can't. Oh, yeah, just, yeah. That's true, I You guess. can't go around just putting your, your your junk all out in the yeah, open dude. so unfortunately i don't think we can do that but if i mean there are new, new beaches beach. yeah, yeah i was gonna say there's new go to hippie in hollow in austin and just you just get in a triangle pose all yeah. day long you just sit there just bent everyone's like what is he doing like <laughs> taking care of his energy source dude he's vibrating i got <laughs> He's increasing his vibes. His vibes are off the chart, Yo, dude. I can I, feel them from here. I swear to God, man, that that holistic, uh, just like nature science, man, medicine, nature medicine science. It's, yes, it's a dangerous thing, man. It is kind of wild where people you, are like, "Well, Steve Jobs was even one of those guys. He was like, you know what? I have cancer. I'm just going to do these holistic treatments for it, and that yeah. didn't work out for him too Did well. Did not work out. It never does. No, but uh, you know, I feel okay. In defense of holistic medicine. I feel like there probably are things that exist on this planet that will help you heal better than like some man-made medicine, right? Because the man-made medicine is just managing symptoms. It's not trying to get you better. The man-made medicine, a majority of it is taken from nature. Yeah, but then they just what take it down to its pure chemical level and yeah, aspirin. It aspirin itself is taken from a, a plant that grew on a mountain, and they were like, "Oh, this helps you not feel pain." Oh, gotcha. Yeah. It's not like it's not like a, these scientists are like taking unknown chemicals. They've been using plants and medicine for for a long, long time. That's better than chewing on the root of the aspirin plant, I guess. Yeah. It's just, like I said. It's just like like people think that science is all science, and it's, and they take nothing from nature. When a vast majority of vaccines and stuff, they're running these uh, tests on plants. It, it's more or less like the the holistic medicine. Yeah. If you can put on the tin that this activity is cool because it will increase the vibrations. And that's like a selling point. Some some idiot reads that and's like, "Oh, I need some new vibes, dude." Yeah, I could use an increase in vibrations. Yeah, and I, I mean, I need my vibes checked. But I think it's dangerous. But I think with it's pharmaceutical dangerous. companies, I think of, they use real plants, but then figure out what the chemical is. Then they use a chemically created 
chemical. They don't always extract it. You know, it's like they realize, like, oh, this chemical is in this plant. We, yeah. can, we can manufacture that in a lab. It's, yeah. a, you know, whatever. But anyways. Maybe to that level. Maybe. Yeah. That's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, for Jonas. TNT. Uh, go to the crazy9.com. We out.